Hey everybody, welcome back to Richter Knives, episode number 19, and we're going to be talking about this case, Sodbuster Jr. and S30 VN Steel. So here's your box right here, stainless S30 VN Steel. You don't see a lot of this out of case. So this made me super curious, and I was talking with some knife buddies on Instagram about this and I just seen um, a back pocket in the same buffalo horn uh, jigging with the S30 V in. And then I seen the trapper. Uh, that made me look online for all of the uh, patterns that they were doing like this. <clears throat> and in my opinion, the best EDC knife that you can get from Case. And this is controversial because everybody has their favorite. But in my opinion, the best EDC is the Sodbuster Jr. So I went ahead um, after a couple of days of kicking it around. Is it worth it? It's $120. So if you can afford it, um, that's how much it costs. 120 bucks. So let's take a look at the knife and uh, let's talk about um, how I feel about it. I've been carrying it for like three days and... Um, Let's see. So here it is. First thing about a knife is when you see it, you think, how does it look? Is it visually appealing? To me, a lot of this knife is very, very visually appealing. Very first thing that caught my eye was that black buffalo horn and the... Uh, the sheen that it has on the glossy parts of it contrasted to the jigging on there where it's dual and and um jigged and it just looks flipping amazing to me this is just it's gorgeous uh maybe now that i own this one of the my favorite uh covers on any pocket knife that i have and I really normally don't like a black cover on a knife, but this one is a, I don't know what it is. It just jumps out at me. It's beautiful to me. I like the knife, uh, the way it looks. Um, so let's talk about the blade. I don't know if you could tell, but it's stonewashed. It's not polished like most of the uh, rest of the case pocket knives that you get. Uh, case is pretty famous for doing a mirror finish. And honestly, I like this better. <clears throat> this is exactly how I'd want a pocket knife. If, if you asked me to build my own, it would have a stone wash blade or it would have a tool steel or a... Uh, uh, chrome vanadium 1095 something that's going to patina but the cool thing about this is you know it kind of looks like a, um, a patina already has formed on it just the way they have it stonewashed looks pretty cool and then also i love the shape of this blade this big belly right here makes it just great for edc and then anything that you push into, this right here, this sharpened edge in the front, just helps you out a whole bunch. It has a really good tip, and Case is not very great about their tips either. They've got a lot of flack about that. But this one, for a sodbuster, has a decent tip. Uh, also, I sharpened it, and we're going to talk about that here in a minute. <clears throat> Was it the greatest sharpening? And there's a reason for that, but I'll go into that. But it's easy to get sharp. It's it's a sharp blade. And it didn't take me very long to get it or even form a burr. Um, yeah. So, also, if you'll look at the stamping on this, look how clean that is. A lot of case knives that I have, you can't even figure out what it says. But if you'll look at that right there, USA... That is like easy to read, BH137. And it says S35VN in there. My lighting is terrible, but 
I wish I could show you. It's really clean. It's stamped very clean. Probably the cleanest case knife stamping I've seen with your dots and things like that. And also, like I said, the covers. The covers are gorgeous. Great color. Uh, the jigging is phenomenal. The brass pins and liners just complement this black so well. I mean, just look at look at the uh, contrast there between the brass pins, the liners, and the covers. It's a uh, it's beautiful. That brass up on that black is like just what this needed. It could have looked cool with just, you know, steel liners or something like that. But because the stonewashed blade would have looked great too. And even, you know, a different color pin. But this brass just makes it pop to me. The shield. Let's look at the shield. This to me is one of my favorite shields. It's clean. It's glossy. It, you can read it. There's a lot of case knives. I'll show you this one right here. If you look at the shield, it's it's not clean. It's kind of just stamped hard in there, and it's not crisp. You know, if you didn't know what a case knife was and you're just trying to read that, you'd have a hard time probably uh, figuring out what that was. This right here lets you know that's case. Even the little small XX on there and the restricted little R next to the case, you can see that very well. The black gloss up on this black knife right here on the covers. Uh, man, it's it's pretty cool. That blacked out, it gives it kind of that blacked out uh, Earnhardt feel. You know what I'm saying? Fit And it fits in there nicely. They put it in there just perfect. I don't think they could have done any better at that. You don't see glue around it or anything like that. You know, of course, they didn't pin this shield in. I'm not going to knock them on that. Um, we all know about that. I'd rather have it pinned, but it looks really good. Really good. Uh, fit and finish. Let's talk about that. Let's look at the centering. Um, it's pretty close in there. Pretty close in there. Weird thing is, though, as close as the centering is, I feel like the reason it's a little this way over here. The uh, grind is a little wonky. Um, it almost makes it look like the blade is bent at the tip to this way. Uh, it's strange. I don't know if you can see it or not. But on this side, it starts tapering about here and on the other side it starts tapering about here it just looks a little strange when you look at it like this now if I'm looking at the blade there we go you see right here I mean doesn't really hurt the functionality of it it uh it took me a long time to even find that I'm being picky but it kind of looks look bent if you're looking at it. Strange. Um, let's see. The action, walk and talk. This has a cam tang. No half stop. And you hear that? Walk and talk sounds good. The pull to me is about a six. It's about right where you want it. Um, let's see. We talked a lot of good stuff about this. And, um, now it's time. Let's talk about some of the things that aren't really, uh, my favorite. So, uh, look at this tail. I don't know if you can see that. It's higher over here on this side than it is over there. It's crooked. And if you look at it like this with the blade open from the uh, the show side, you can see this liner sticking up. What in the heck? Now the rest of it, that looks really good. It's shiny right there. It looks like Case knew what they were doing and then they fell asleep when they got to this side. 
what in the world it just I don't understand why they would do that and I got to think it for a minute I'm like maybe you know it's kind of like stag because this is natural and then I'm like no they they just they messed that up it doesn't affect the functionality of it matter of fact it really feels good in my hand it really does it doesn't poke up anything like that it really feel look at that it feels really good in my hand and this is like a joy to use and cut with it feels really good in your hand it fits real well and it has that natural choil right here you could choke up right on that blade um also uh the sharpening now i told you we'd talk about the sharpening and i did sharpen this but not to my standards and the reason why is because i don't know what in the world they were thinking this okay look i'm not going to go on a tangent because i love case i love it and i hate even putting a qualifier behind it but case I'm sure you can afford somebody to be on the line that knows how to sharpen a knife and get clean bevels or even bevels. But if you see this, this is even after I sharpened it. I didn't want to sharpen all my blade out, but I put this at a 20 degree angle. But you see how high it was there. And here in the center of the bell, I'm sorry, the center right here. It's just, it was all over the place. I mean, I'm talking about the blade was doing this and I sharpened a lot out and I was like, well, I'm not sharpening all that out. So I guess it'll come out as I use it. But that you see right here, this looks terrible. I don't know, it's hard to make you see in this light, but you see this right here? This is so uneven. And I could get this even. I really can. Um, I, you know, it'll come out after a few sharpenings. I don't want to just waste my blade still. But, I mean, you could have got that right, Case. That's easy. That's one of the easy things, right? I'm sure somebody can do that, and it wouldn't be hard. They must have put the rookie on this one because I, I, if you would have seen, I should have took pictures or something because you would have been aghast. <laughs> it's terrible, but it's a little better. It doesn't look horrible. So I kind of got away from putting my grade edge on it. It's sharp. Um, I didn't take it to a mirror or nothing like that because I was kind of disappointed with the grind and, you know, not being able to you know sharpen all that out um right off the bat but i'll end up putting a really pretty edge on it later but it does cut it's very sharp it, it bites it's a uh, sticky so we're talking about the steel um s30vn steel um i've used the s30vn before this one feels really good it really does it, it doesn't feel too soft uh when i sharpened it and um i'm pretty impressed so besides the sharpening on that blade let's talk about the elephant in the room Boop. this thing right there now uh i'm one of those people who can't stand when you try to modernize a traditional knife. And when I look at this knife, I am like, wow, that looks sweet. And I try to ignore. It's like a pretty girl with a big nose. I, I mean, you can't miss it. It's right dead in the middle of the face. But uh, that hole right there in the blade. To me, it's just, it don't look right. 
I mean, it's functional. As a matter of fact, the crazy thing works so well to get a pinch on it. You don't even have to stick your nail in there. You'd be a goof if you just put your nail in there. But if you just grab it with your fingers, your finger gets down in there. You see what it's doing to my finger? Your fingers just get down in there, opens right up. So functionality wise, this works very well, very, very well. Um, and I love a pinchable blade. That's one of my qualifiers for an EDC knife or a good EDC knife is a blade that you can get out easily. So it works in that. But uh, as far as looks go, it's a take it or leave it type thing. Um, I'm not a uh, leave it guy, I guess, after using it. I'm kind of overlooking it um, because of its functionality. And, you know, this is still a good knife. So all in all, um, I still like this knife. Let's compare it to some other knives. Um, let's look at, uh, we had this in a second ago, the Case Trapper. So you can see butt to butt. Um, the Trapper's a little longer right about the same width and a longer cutting blade cutting edge so what else we got uh the gc bullnose number 71 it's just a little shorter a little taller and a little stubbier in the blade also the thickness on these is not very far off most of these bone sodbuster juniors are thin and i don't have mine because i let my boss bar it while i sharpened his pocket knife so i'm kind of missing my other sodbuster but this is a junior by the way um the covers are pretty close this is a little thinner than this and then Let's see what else. Let's compare it to a which may bug out. Everybody's got a bug out. So there you go. Uh, what else we got? Got a GC eighty five, similar in length and size, and this one has the belly as well. And uh, old school, 940. Okay. So there's you some comparisons. Uh, final thoughts on this thing is uh, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, despite the things that I said that I didn't like, really are things that I could live with. So this thing right here, really... Uh, on the end, this being crooked, it's not that big of a deal. Does it bother me a tad bit, but I'm still going to use it. Uh, the hole in the blade, like I said, I'm living with that. The only problem I foresee is if I cut something like food or something and then something gets stuck inside that, but it's not going to rust or anything like that. This S30VN is uh, pretty stainless. It's just as long as I keep it clean. Um, uh, I will make that edge prettier and I think I'll enjoy the, the knife more. If you have a pretty edge and a sharp edge on your knife, it's a whole lot more enjoyable. Um, besides those flaws that I mentioned, overall, I really like the knife. I think it's gorgeous. I think Case is doing a cool thing with this one. Um, a lot of people are asking for a Case to use better steel. Um, this is a whole lot better than the, you know, true sharp. However, it does come at a price. Uh, you'll find a normal sodbuster somewhere around 60 bucks. And this one is double. So if you like the S30VN, if you think it's cool, 
and a good steel. And I have no doubt in my mind that this thing will do you a day's work easily, very easily. I could take this and I would not have any qualms about using this uh, and it just straight dueling out on me or... I mean, I'm going to have to do some cut testing, but it, it feels really good. The steel feels really good. Um, also, you know, the functionality of it, it works. I mean, it has good action walk and talk. Feels really good. It feels good in hand. It's something you can stick in your pocket and do a day's work with. Not think a second thing about it. And check it out and pull it out at work and nobody's going to flip out that you got an S30VN. It's not like a wha -pow! flipper or a out the front or nothing like that. This is just like a gentleman's knife. Um, so there you go. I have some upcoming videos. Uh, a lot of it's going to be EDC stuff. I've got some new EDC stuff, so I want y'all to check that out. Uh, I've got a pin. Um, also, I'll just give you a little, um, what do you call it? A little preview. Erica, I was watching one of her videos today, and she said that I made her want one of the uh, Sawbuster Juniors in CV Steel with the, uh, what was it? The, uh, golly, the covers. They're like a red jig bone, I believe, or chestnut jig bone. Chestnut jigged bone it's not like i'm saying chicken chestnut jig bone and uh well erica look what you made me do i did it um these things are cool 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 so i'm gonna have a video about this as well uh a lot of edc stuff i got i want to show y'all some knives that i that i own that i haven't reviewed i haven't showed you that you haven't seen if you check out my Instagram page at Richter under slash knives, you'll see a lot of posts, uh, my pickup truck, my Camaro, my knives. Uh, you may see some stuff you haven't seen on YouTube. So go check that out and, uh, y'all have a good day and we'll see you next time on episode 20. All right. Sodbuster Junior S30V in steel Richter out.